Okay everybody, welcome to my new video and uh, first of all I just wanna say I'm sorry to everyone about the sound quality in this video I know it's not the best but that's what I can get and this video will be about the configurations I have on my K450 quadcopter on the INAP configurator a lot of people have been asking me about that so I'll show you the configurations here. So we have uh, I have already installed. I'll connect my drone. Uh, my quadcopter is powered on and connected to the USB port on the computer. And so these are basically. I'll show you every tab so that you can see how it is. I'll move my quad around so that you can see that moves, it's connected, and so it's a quadcopter uh, using a three cell battery and uh, if you go to presets I don't even, I cannot even use preset stuff because I got this flash to the INAV version I have on my drone is the 1.1 I have 1.1 which is very uh, which is very old by the time I built this that was the most recent it's still flying good so I decided not to change a thing right now we are uh, on the ports tab and this is what I have you want one MSP 115200 then I have for my GPS 757600 and uh, these are basically the, the settings as you can see up here I have gyro, accelerometer, magnetometer, bar and GPS everything connected if we go to configuration, it's a quad X system configuration 500 hertz battery voltage as you see here 3.3 4.3 maximum cell voltage voltage scale 110 my mag alignment is set to clockwise 0 degrees roll degrees 1 pitch degrees minus 1 receiver mode is a PWM or C input uh, I have it the same way as spectrum I have GPS enabled but before that you can see here current sensor I have nothing on other features nothing on and that uh, GPS navigation I got a U blocks it's a Neo 6 Europe my declination is minus 5.1 3D here you go that's how it is on my, my failsafe safe configurations are these ones here variables 885 21 15 this is pretty much stock here on this side I've selected failsafe stage 2 and uh, failsafe stage 2 board time 5 failsafe throttle low delay 100 and uh, I have selected here return to home return to home which is my failsafe setting and here on channel fallback settings as you can see I have on my aux 2 I got it set to uh, 1400 and uh, throttle it's on hold aux 1 it's on hold and uh, aux 3 and 4 hold and this basically makes the fail safe work ok if you change the throttle to auto or something like that what happens is that when you turn off your remote controller for the failsafe on remote controller off the quad will crash that happened to me once so it has to be set on throttle to hold 
so this is this the file safe tab if we go to the PIDs tab I haven't changed anything here this is completely completely stuck everything this is what I have for one pitch 30 yo 100 for the I term 20 20 40 70 70 this is completely stuck advanced tuning I can't even go there because as I told you I'm using I have 1.1 so I don't even can go to this my receiver is set like this A E T R aileron elevator throttle rotor 1 2 3 4 and these are my values throttle mid fifth oh, 0.50 or seated band 5 5 these are pretty much my settings my modes on my modes i got it like this angle on ox 2 from 1000 to 2000 mag ox 2 here you have the values head free ox 2 in two places so that when i i s i move a switch i can go into head free whether i'm on gps or angle mode i got Altitude hold on OX2 as well, set here. Position hold, OX2, same thing. Not return to home, it's here. And uh, I got nothing else, these are my modes. My adjustments, nothing adjusted. This is basically all stock as you see servos we don't have any servos gps say 3d fixed type right, right now i got the 3d fix it's pointing home it's working pretty good actually my motors this is pretty much what we get osd we don't have it we don't have any LED stripes uh, configured through the board oh and it's important to say that this is this is my K450 quadcopter running INAV 1.1 on a flip 32 plus board the board is a flip 32 plus and uh, and the GPS is a Neo 6, the one which says uh, 0093 Sarocom Krios, C R I U S, Krios, Krios, whatever. Sensors, my sensors, I move the quad around, I think things should move a little bit when moving the quad around. Let's put it still. Third locking, nothing changed here. Black box, I don't have anything like that. And CLI, well, I'm gonna type dump and that. Uh, okay, these are my CLI settings. So we're gonna go up slowly so that you can see everything. So if you're interested in something, just pause the video and you'll be able to see what settings I have and uh, this is what I have on my CLI and uh, besides this my quadcopter flies as you've been able to see on my other videos it flies okay, it flies smooth. Uh, I do not really intend to upgrade it right now because it has happened to me before with different systems like Clean Flight, which is not that different, but I had it on previous versions of Clean Flight, I had drones flying okay, and then I decided to upgrade, and that, that brought nothing but trouble. So in this case, as this one is flying okay, and I'm pretty satisfied with its performance I've decided not to upgrade anything just leave it as it is and fly it around and have fun 
One of these days I'll build a new quadcopter, a smaller one, like a 250 or something, and probably I'll I'll upgrade that and use the the latest release of INAP, uh, which I don't know which one it is right now. I think it's 1.5.1. Not sure. So. I'm trying to move this slowly so that if you're interested on uh, on seeing my CLI uh, settings, you'll be able to pause the video and see it. Uh, I could also make a copy of this and paste it in the description, but I think like this it's enough because I'm recording my complete screen so you'll have you'll have um, a nice view of what I'm running inside my K450 Flip32 Plus Flash Twin of 1.1 as I said before, if you want to see how it performs, I have videos on failsafe landings and failsafe on remote controller shutdown and position hold and things like that. I've tried everything and it's working pretty cool. I'm upset not to disarm on landing. I like it to disarm. And, uh, yeah, we're almost on top. These are my configurations for my GPS. You block signals. Or one auto config is off. Is off because I've configured this GPS manually. I have also a video on how I did that. If you want to configure yours the same way, just follow that video. It's on my channel on how to configure your GPS. And uh, then just plug it on the board. But probably you could leave it on auto and. INAP would do its its uh, thing and get all the desired uh, configurations into flashed into your GPS microchip. I've just happened to do it a different way. Oh, these are for the LEDs. We don't have any LEDs, so this is all pretty much stuck beeper on USB armed disarm repeat settings for the beeper GPS we don't have any flow sonar or speed controls and uh, yep as you can see as I told you we are on top of CLI and I'm running I have it's a flip 32 plus so I flashed it with the software for a maze but it's INF for maze 1.1.0 May 11th of 2016 this was the time when I built it and uh, that's uh, pretty much how I have it okay once again fill safe settings I should have typed exit, I did not do that, but it's pretty much the same, so it's not going to save anything. Fail safe settings, here you have. This is how I have it. Configuration, once again. If you're interested in some of these configurations, just pause the video and you'll be able to see it. Okay. Oh, I think I've showed you everything. Yeah, I've showed you everything. Set up. Yeah, okay. Right now, well, disconnect. And uh, these are my INF configurator settings for the K450 Flip32 Plus on INF 1.1 quadcopter. See ya. Hope this helps.